Hi, welcome to Harry's PixInsight video tutorials. In this video, we'll be using the HDR wavelet transform process. This is a powerful, and you'll be pleased to hear, fairly simple to use. This tool can be used on images with very large dynamic ranges, like M42, but it has just as important uses on images like this. I'm going to use my old friend from M106 from the previous tutorials, which we have the DBE tool applied to and done his grand stretch. As you can see, the core appears saturated, but the information is in there, just needs a bit of help to be um, revealed. To start with, I'm going to open some clones of this image so we can see what's um, happening between the various different steps. Again, this is very easy to do. Just slide over here to the sidebar on the name, click on the mouse button, hold it down, and drag it over. And now we have a clone. I'm going to open another one. Clone. Because of the main area of interest that I'm going to be working on is in the core, I'm going to zoom in. You can do this with your zoom tool or control plus on your keyboard, which is what I'm going to do. Just give us a few seconds to get these images sorted out. Okay, that's near enough. Okay, over to the Process Explorer. Click on HDR wavelets. Okay, the first thing we need to look at is a number of layers. Default setting is actually about six. Now I've found six and five is normally what we would use on things like the M42 that we just spoken about previously. But on this image to start with, I'm going to use four. Okay, I'm going to leave this as a default setting. I'm going to leave this also a default setting. I like the luminance max activated and the luminance also just checked. I'm going to leave the D ringing unchecked for the moment. Okay, the last tutorials we clicked on the apply button down here to apply the process, but this time I'm going to click onto the new instance button and drag it to the image we want to apply it to. Okay, you can see it's had quite a dramatic effect, but if you look right just here and here, the effect's just been a little bit over the top, shall we say, for a better word. So I'm trying to control this. So what I'm going to use this time is a D-ringing. Now, this setting here is what I'd use most of the time. I've used this on rare occasions, and I fully admit I've had to experiment to find the right setting. But um, again, it's easy to do. If you get it wrong, just click the undo tool here. So, what I'm going to do this time, drag it up to the third image. Okay, we have slightly better control now. The dark areas are not over darkened which you see from the original image that we've revealed a lot of information but we've not finished with the HDR tool yet got more work for it to do so I'm just going to close this tool down a second close this one down a second work on another copy Okay, so this is that the floor layers applied to it. But um, I want to resolve some of the finer, smaller details. So we're going to go down to two layers this time. Again, leave these as a default setting here and here. Leave this checked, leave this checked. 
I'm just going to adjust this down a little bit. Again, I've had a little experiment before when we started this tutorial. Again, click on this button, drag it to the image. Okay, I think that's a, a very beneficial effect. You see some of the smaller details have been revealed. To show you a before and after, I'm going to go down to one of the other workspaces. If you haven't noticed, it's down here. You've got four workspaces by default. I've been working on the first one. I'm going to click on the second one. So we have before with four layers applied. And finally, with two layers applied. I think you've got to admit, another impressive result from Pixinsight. Here endeth today's lesson.